Alabama's first black box theater has always relied on supporters of the arts, and now they need those supporters more than ever tonight. CBS 42's Corey McGinnis live from the Birmingham Festival Theater with why the theater is in danger of closing its doors, Corey. Yeah, Jack, good evening. Well, the Birmingham Festival Theater has been open here for 47 years, and some are even calling this a staple in the community, and that's why the board of directors needs your help in keeping these doors open. This is one of the first theaters in Birmingham that stayed around. 20-year thespian Leah Lucker expresses how the Birmingham Festival Theater was a place where memories were born. To think that this theater was around when my mother sat and watched me in a show and she may never get to do that again, that's heartbreaking. Now she holds on to those memories stronger than she ever did before after learning BFT is in danger of closing its doors as a result of the theater deep in the red. The theater that seats nearly 100 guests has become a local draw for stage productions that aren't featured at larger or traditional theaters. It's devastating, and it's devastating to me, but it's devastating to an entire community. CBS 42 learned the reason why the theater is in debt is the result of unexpectedly having to repair and replace the air conditioning units on the top of the building, in addition to low ticket sales this year. We raised about $10,000. That's why Vice President of the Board of Directors, Mindy Egan, is asking for the community to donate. She says the theater is about a fourth of the way there with a goal of $40,000. It is something that we need because we want our patrons to be comfortable, so we certainly want to be able to provide that for them, but it's something that takes money to be able to maintain and replace. She says the money will also pay back debt that began to pile up and have an emergency backup fund and secure the remaining rights in order to announce next year's season. Meantime, Lucker continues to hark back on memories and hopes to create new ones while remaining optimistic that the community will continue to contribute. We can all move on. We can all go do theater somewhere else, but it's not going to be the same, and it's really not going to be the same for the audience. And if you would like to help out or donate, I'll have that information on our website at CBS42.com. All you have to do is click on this story. Live in Birmingham tonight, Corey McGinnis, CBS42 News. Local coverage you can count on. Corey, thank you.